All right, so we've come back from a little break now. Uh, I went and talked a little bit about the history of the coach approach and uh, how we kind of got to this point now. Uh, we're gonna dive a little bit into some more of the background and why we're actually doing the coach approach. So really what it is when you come down to it, it's the next size support process. And that's what we tell everybody that comes and really asks about what the coach approach is, okay? Uh, the goal is really to empower members to better maintain their physical activity and wellness programs and reduce the rate of dropout from that exercise plan. Okay, and that's, we know here at the Y that members join all the time and then they drop out, right? New Year's resolutions are a classic example of people coming into the gym, signing up for membership, which is great, but they don't use their membership. They don't come in, they don't start exercising, they aren't engaged, and they don't continue on. And that's why, you know, you talk to people up on the weight floor, around January and a lot of those regulars stop working out until February because they know the New Year's resolutioners are going to quit by that time and the gym will be back to theirs because the gym is really busy around New Year's. Okay, so that's what Coach Approach is and we want to help build that self-efficacy in people and reduce the rate of dropout over time. So let's talk about that a little bit here. Now, I'm going to click on to my next slide. Here we go. So, this is a graph of the expected rate of dropout or dropout of an exercise plan over time. So on any given day, you have 100% of people coming into the facility working out. Um, within six months, that's going to be dropped by about 60%. So within six months, 60% of people drop out of an exercise plan. Now for all of us here that are personal trainers or exercise physiologists, that should be appalling. It should be crazy, uh, craziness because we're here to get people fit. We're here to get people engaged in exercise and help them achieve a healthier life. So six months, between the first three and six months, usually we're between the first day and six months. Um, it doesn't matter the type of facility you have, whether it's something like we have here with pools and basketball courts and volleyball courts and squash courts and large weight rooms or it's a private little health club that's no bigger than this room or it's a place like Talisman Center or Westside Rec. It doesn't matter how big, how great the staff are, how well engaged the staff are on the way floor, the member services people, the programs that we offer, doesn't matter, the dropout rate is still the same. Actually, to be, to be completely honest with you, you know, we talk about it on the recreation side of things, which is what we do, we're in a recreation side of things. But the same percentage of dropouts are recorded in cardiac rehab. So people that have had cardiac issues, heart attacks, or in the rehab program after a cardiac episode have the exact same dropout rate from an exercise plan. Now for those guys, it's like or that, right? They have to be in that exercise program to get better, to live longer and healthier. They still have the exact same dropout rate. So even if it's a life or death situation, People don't care, right? There's something that's preventing them from establishing and maintaining that habit, building that self-efficacy so they can continue on with their program. And that's where the coach approach comes in. And that's what we're gonna talk about and get a little bit more into um, a little bit later on. So to talk a little bit more about this dropout rate, we're gonna go into, yes, here we are. So this is a study, it was done in the States a number of a couple years ago, but uh, the same principle applies. When we did a, um, they did a uh, quantitative or uh, qualitative study on some adults and they asked people, told them to recommend a guideline to say our Canadian guidelines of 150 minutes of physical activity, um, moderate rates of physical activity per week. Ask people and they tell you whether they get that or not. Yes or no, right? About 15% of the people will say, yes, I get that much physical activity within the week. I get 150 minutes of physical activity, moderate to vigorous, Per week, which is again appalling from an exercise physiologist's point of view, that only 15% of the people will actually say that. Um, 85 to 95% of people know that they need to get physical activity in their daily regime to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Everybody knows that, right? Same, most smokers know when smoking is going to kill you, they still continue to smoke. Sedentary people know that exercise is good for you, they still continue to be sedentary. Why? Because of various reasons, and we'll kind of dig into that um, in a little bit. Does that make sense? Yes. 
Good. Um, so, continuing on, any questions? Um, do we know why people drop out of an exercise plan? Uh, yes, we do. A lot of it has to do with self-management skills. So, uh, people that, um, they, they, they try to regulate stuff in their life. And we're going to get into self-management skills here later on. It's one of the key factors, right? But you think of people that are very successful in an exercise plan, they put it in their schedule, they find the time to do it, they can get babysitting to do it, they enjoy what they do, or they change up a routine, and they do all these other things. They work out in groups, so they have that social support, they're, they're there with their spouse. So there's lots of things that regulate it that we found out. It's just trying to help people that don't have those self-management skills and coach them and make them try to be accountable to themselves and to build that self-efficacy so when they achieve it and they keep going with it and running with it. But that's a really huge part of the coach approach and we're actually dive into that a little bit later on today once we kind of get to that point. But excellent question. You're a couple steps ahead of me already, which is great. Uh, we're just going to continue on with this. So we talked about this. Now this is a study that we just went out and asked people, or they went out and asked people. Said, you get 150 minutes of physical activity, yes or no. They actually did this quantitative study. Now, on um, this one, I know this screen is really busy and there's lots of numbers on it, um, but they, what they did was they took a, uh, a group of individuals and they put accelerometers on them. The accelerometers are little things that measure movement and activity. So, for the study, they didn't actually see how much activity people were actually getting. They took the data and they ran it across uh, the physical activity guidelines for say, we'll say 150 minutes of vigorous, uh, moderate to vigorous uh, physical activity per week. And what they found was kind of astounding. So in our regular population of age 20 to 59, in total, only 3.5% of the population actually got enough physical activity or got that recommended physical activity. So 3.5%, now that's not the triathletes, that's not the bodybuilders, that's not the, you know, uh, uh, Olympic uh, distance runners. Those are just average people, and that's only enough people, you know, that's that's trying to get enough physical activity to maintain health, maintain your blood pressure, maintain your cholesterol levels, have a good healthy body weight, right? This is, these aren't people training to be Olympic athletes. These are just people trying to make, get enough physical activity just to maintain proper health. So this is staggering. Again, this was a, a Study from the states, um, but the obesity rates and sedentary rates here in Canada are coming on parallel with the states pretty quick, um, which again is uh, another shocker and it's uh, really kind of saddening when you think about it. So yeah, that's uh, that's where we're at. That's why we uh, we need the coach approach because of all that uh, sedentariness and lack of physical activity. So what it all comes down to is adaptation. Um, they found out that the first six months of an exercise plan where you lose that about 60% of people is that adaptation phase. And that's what Coach Pro is, is a six month protocol. Okay, So at any given day we start off with 100% of people and we're going to lose them 60% uh, within six months, we're going to try to change that. We're going to try to change their behavior because it's a behavioral change process within that six months. After that there is a little bit of a dropout from exercise plan that's usually from people moving and some other uh, not as vital things that we hear they can't change. The big thing where we can change is these first six months, we can change people's behaviors, change their way of thinking and get them to adapt physical activity, give them some self-efficacy so they feel like they're achieving something and keep going and building off the momentum. And then they're able to hopefully maintain an exercise process. Once we get them through the coach approach, they've exercised continuously two to three days a week for the first six months of the program we're more likely to keep them for a very long period of time. They're able to achieve it and keep going on with very, very low rate of dropout after that. That's what we're trying to plan today. We're gonna to talk about what the first six months of Coach Approach really looks like, um, how each of the appointments go. We're gonna go through a few scenarios, figure out what's gonna happen, what you would say or potentially say to people or members that give you um, some of those uh, problems that we run into all the time. I don't have enough time to exercise. I can't fit in my day. I can't be babysitting. I have to travel for work. All those are different scenarios that we're going to talk about and you're going to run into as well as coaches. Because trust me, you will. You'll run into all these different scenarios 
and you need to figure out what you're going to say to people when they come and ask you or tell you, I can't do this, or oh, this is why I'm going to drop out of my exercise plan, or this is what I've done in the past, because a lot of people have done this, New Year's resolution, or that classic example, they've come into the program, they did it last year for a month, they dropped out, now they're back in, the same New Year's resolution. Figure out why they dropped out and see what we can do to help them change that behavior to get them to be that successful exerciser. Right? So that's a little bit of the background on uh, why it's a six month, uh, six month study, uh, and now we're gonna kinda get into the meat and potatoes of Coach Approach here, we're gonna go over a few of the different studies of why, um, uh, where it was successful in the States, and um, yeah, then dive into the rest of the program. So here we go with uh, some of the studies that were um, 